What's goody? What's poppin'? YouTube, it's your boy Who's Mans. Coming to y'all with a Mad 19 Ultimate Team video. Uh, this clip here in the beginning, I was, uh, I just wanted to show y'all. I, I got a little, nice little surprise. Uh, I, I, obviously, y'all see what I choose. I'm sitting here looking at this first car like, man, that's dookie. Uh, you know, I get another dookie, get some more dookie more dookie then i'm like man forget this forget this forget forget this and then i get that dion that 90 dion that 90 dion right there helped me get a bunch of other players that would help me have my defense the way i want it to be to set it up to you know how i want it to be so i'm happy about that one my offense got a nice little addition i guess i'll show y'all some stuff uh after this video not after this video but i'll make another video um showing y'all what i did um but yeah um i'm just gonna show y'all some more stats about this other than that man this video is gonna be primarily about the patch and it's not even really gonna be about the patch it's more of a rant because <laughs> I had a commentary for this video already like I, I really did I had a commentary for this video but then I went back I watched some stuff I listened to how I was talking about it and it's just like it's kind of like when you when you've been getting subpar performance from something and then you just for some reason just start accepting the subpar performance and then when they go from subpar subpar to just kind of par and you just kind of accept i don't know it's mad 19 this year i'll put it this way it had i shouldn't even say had because the year's not even over with but it has a ton of potential because of all the technology they put in this game it has a lot of potential but it's just missing it's missing on a lot of fronts man like the blocking this year is not that great i'm not even talking about like pat i don't know the ai in the blocking doesn't make sense the i noticed when you do pulling plays offensive offensively and defensively it just doesn't make sense um in real football tosses and stretch plays don't always result in like 30 yard gains like you cannot that's not going to happen uh, for instance last year against the uh jaguars when the steelers were playing them they kept trying to run stretches and draw or stretches and pitches but the Jaguars defense is far too fast for that to happen. They should have been ran, you know, been running the ball up the middle because the Jaguars defense is faster than it is, I guess, strong. But I mean it's good. I mean it's a good defense regardless, but I mean I would I would rather run up the middle on a defense that's fast like that, smaller, faster, you know, gets to the ball real quick. And it seems like in Mad 19 your defense just does not react to pitches and, and stretches the, the correct way. Your linebackers, your outside linebackers, if they see the quarterback turn and pitch the ball, they try to contain that and cut it, get the running back to cut back to the inside. And it seems like your guys just back, I mean, it's just straight up backpedal at the very beginning for a good, like, couple seconds. And this is like, no, like real football that does not happen i sometimes yes your blocking sets up right because of the defensive play call that the you know the opponent picked but like anybody with eyeballs will see hey this dude pitched the ball let me you know try to contain like your defensive line will automatically shift to whatever side they're pitching to cut it off sometimes they do too they i mean they overcompensate and then you know there'll be a cutback lane but i mean you got to look and as far as the offensive blocking there's been times where i see you know fullbacks just completely first off sometimes the, the the guy who's pulling won't even try to engage you know a linebacker or a cornerback or a safety who's coming up to you even though the dude is right in front of him so it makes you keep running to the sideline and it's just like dude you see him there just run up the field and block i mean that's just the tip of the iceberg with a lot of stuff that I've been seeing in this game. 
you know this game is very inconsistent where sometimes the passing block the pass blocking ai seems good and there's other times where it's just horrible or you know um I don't know there's certain zones like it just seems like the zones i'm not asking for them to you know all of everybody to be Jalen ramsey but it's like come on now like at some point like i said people have eyeballs and brains they understand shoot the quarterback released the ball let me go to the ball it seems like these half the players on the fields just have absolutely no awareness at all they'll see the ball then they react once the ball is caught um like I said, this is just the tip of the iceberg with the whole zone thing. Um, the, the wide receiver animations are kind of crazy this year, man. Like, ever since Odell Beckham had that one-handed catch, everybody is Odell Beckham. And it's like, not everybody's Odell Beckham, and not everybody's going to try to do a one-handed catch all the time. I mean, Julian Edelman's not going to be, you know, making one-handed grabs all like that. He's more of a possession receiver, so he's going to be putting two hands up and trying to catch the... I mean do more possession type catches uh aj green's more of a jump ball type guy like julio jones is more of a jump ball type guy they're gonna you know high point the ball so it's understandable but they use both hands most of the time you know um guys like larry fitzgerald michael thomas um adam thielen those kinds of guys big bodies but they're more possession and those kinds of guys are going to use their size to box the you know the db or whoever is guarding them out to catch that football and it's like you don't get those animations with them so like possession receivers just i mean it's the reason why tyreek hill is the best wide receiver in the game which that shouldn't be the case like if a b and you know uh keenan allen and michael thomas and julio jones like the game should reflect real football and if julio jones and a b are the two best wide receivers in the game there's a reason why it's because they have good route running they have good hands they you know they catch the ball well and you just don't get those kinds of animations you don't get the player movement the way it needs to be for these players to excel in the game it's the reason why you know only fast players will only be good in madden because the logic in a lot of the i mean i'm gonna say the coding because i don't know I, my dad is a computer programmer so there's a lot that i see that goes into coding that makes things react the way they're supposed to react but like a, a troy palomalu type safety is going to react differently to than a uh micah hyde you know um troy palomalu is a very aggressive safety i mean he's gonna play the box he's gonna you know aggressively go after the ball i mean you don't have safeties that play the way they should be playing in the in the in you know in real life i mean you don't have linebackers that play the way they should be playing in real life like you know there's a difference between a luke keekley and a Dion jones luke keekley plays the way he's supposed to i noticed in madden but like Deion Jones and faster guys like that don't really I don't know there's just a lot that I think is wrong in Madden right now that could I feel like could be fixed and if these things get fixed it makes the game more enjoyable and it makes it more authentic um you know guys like Tyreek Hill they're I mean they're great they make a huge difference during the X factor but like you know, your Antonio Browns, your Larry Fitzgeralds, your Michael Thomases, your Adam Thielens, like these guys should definitely be they should definitely be better in Madden than what they are. Like sometimes you can't even use guys like Michael Thomas because they're not fast. They don't guys like Michael Thomas in real life uses his body as an advantage. And the fact that he has good hands, it's like it doesn't even matter at that point because the possession catch that's another thing the possession catch is completely broken i don't know how many times i've dropped every time i hit the possession catch i drop the ball <clears throat> i mean every single time i've never possession caught a ball in mad 19 but um let me know your thoughts on mad 19 right now um it's just there's a lot wrong in madden right now this game is really frustrating 
I've never been this frustrated playing Madden really in a long time. Like last year, I thought the game couldn't get worse than last year, you know, with the whole running and how that's been. This year, man, is just by far the most frustrating because, you know, the whole real player motion and all that stuff. I'm thinking like, cool, you know, I can actually make a team where I don't have to pick Tyreek Hill and Ted Ginn Jr. and, you know, all the fastest players all the time because it's like I'm not trying to have a bunch of five foot ten dudes who's real fast running around the field. Like I want to use a guy who has size that way. If, you know, I'm in the red zone, I can throw it to Michael Thomas. I can throw it to Travis. Kill. I mean, you know what I mean? Like defensive wise, it's like I don't have to feel like I have to use all 11 people like all the time because it's like, man, if I have Casey Hayward. I had a Casey Hayward, 91 overall, who had 90-something zone, 93 man. He wasn't the fastest dude, but it's like, if you're a good cornerback, you're a good cornerback. You should be able to, you know, make plays. He has a lot of player awareness, but it seemed like no matter what, I am always, he is always giving up big plays. I had to get rid of him and get, you know, a worse overall cornerback who was faster. And it seems like they play better. And that's just not how real life works. Like, there's a reason why Chris Harris, guys like Chris Harris and, you know, uh, who else? Um, uh, Akib Talib, not the fastest dude. Uh, Sherman, not the fastest dude, but they were good. You know what I mean? Jalen Ramsey is an exception. He's fast, but he also is just good. He is a very aware player, and it seems like awareness, maybe that's what I'm thinking about. Awareness is just not a thing in Madden, man. There's just no awareness, it seems like, in Madden. It's just real frustrating, but I don't know. Anyway, this is Who's Man's. Uh, a bit of a rant. Um, if y'all like what you're seeing, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification. I'm going to keep putting up, you know, putting up videos. I haven't made a video in a couple days, mainly because I was out of town too. I've been trying to get game plays and I just been too frustrated. And, um, but yeah, uh, I think from now on, Mutt is just a little too frustrating for me. <laughs> I'm going to be playing regular teams more, man, because I don't know. I have more fun playing regular teams. It's like I don't have all this time invested in making my team better and them not performing the way they should be. And it's like if I get a regular team, I can't really be mad because it's like I understand where the weaknesses are. So if, you know, Bob, I'm rambling. But anyway, man, like I said, my name's Who's Man's. I'm out. I'll see y'all later.